Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kathy's Corner, She the Shan. And this is chapter 8 of Riding the Wave, Healing Waters. And, sorry, the dog is really wild today, so she's she's playing with me. Um, what I wanted to talk to you today about is, like, letting, letting the dam break and letting the water fall and... Um, what I'm kind of referring to, it's kind of on as we, we speak, is the Frozen 2 movie at the end when the, uh, the princess has the, the dam break and it kind of causes this big water surge and, um, in the end everything turns out just fine. It's, it, it all kind of calms itself down. Um, and that's where I think I am with with everything that's coming up in my life. Um, it just feels as if everything has to break and we have to let that water surge. We have to allow it to calm and let that um, let that mist or that fog that's been covering us for so long uh, dissolve into into thin air. And, um, so that's kind of what I want to do with my life. Um, just kind of let everything happen the way it's going to happen. Um, let that dam break, the, the dam that's holding the water, um, break and cause that big waterfall and, um, and allow everything to just kind of settle down and settle in and start over again, just start over and have a new beginning, a fresh start. Um, and um, here she comes. Say hi. Say hi. Hello. And uh, yes, yes, I know you want to play. Um, and just let everything settle. And, and let everything kind of become a brand new fresh start. I'm starting a a new uh, chapter in my life with weight loss, or hopefully um, that I can actually start losing some weight. Um, I've been putting on weight and keeping it kind of consistent, um, heavy um, for for a very long time now due to medications and lack of movement and you know, not great um, food choices, and I just don't think I eat enough um, sometimes. I think I, when I do eat, it's the wrong food choices, and um, so I'm going to really try to make uh, a conscious effort to change my eating patterns, and um, fresh starts, new beginnings, um, just start again you know keep keep going Go, keep going you know letting that dam fall and then you just begin again so yeah so that is um what i'm hoping to um do with my life um, just begin again start all over let everything crash and burn and let it settle and, and start over again. So these are the Healing Spirit cards by Gordon Smith. And they look like this. The dog is weird. The dog is very strange today. And these are my um, my rosary beads that I, I had from Cardinal Roland from um, the early 2000s, um, like 2007, sometime in that area, and um, I put them through the laundry, and they broke into pieces, and um, it was my own fault. I, I broke the rosary, and I blamed myself for years, got very sick, um, and then in 2020, the... Uh, the rosary was um, 
all back together again in a box. It, I took it out of the box and all the beads were intact. So how that happened, I don't know. It wasn't from human <laughs> human form that did that. So um, this says, don't fear the change, embrace it and grow. Don't fear change, embrace it and grow. All right, and it says, change is a large part of the human journey, and in order to grow, you have to know change at some point. You have to know change at some point. The wise spirit sages and masters know that everything in the human world is an impairment. Is Sorry. The wise spirits and sages and masters know that everything in the human world is impermanent and will therefore change. And because of this, they accept transformation. Watching that life evolve over time has taught them that, they're, that those who learn not to resist evolutionary changes are always, will always survive, whereas those who struggle with them will not. And it is because life is always changing that so many lessons can be learned here. Now is not the time to concern yourself with being right or wrong. It is, a it is time to change and adapt. Accept this and you will grow. You already know this in your heart. So, change is inevitable, impermanent, and it's just a part of life. And I'm ready for change. I, I need change in my life right now. I can't stay the same way that I've been going. It's gonna, it's gonna cause me to be physically sick, emotionally sick, spiritually sick. So I have to make changes in my life. And um, I have to grow and develop and evolve. And so these are the um, Healing Waters cards by Rebecca Campbell. And they look like this. And they just go with my rosary, so I do both the healing waters and the and the healing spirits. And let's see, the intention I'm setting with these cards today is change, allowing change in my life, healthy change in my life. All right. Oh, the yellow. I'll have two cards here. Okay. And this says, the well maidens, kindness, respect, rever reverence, and compassion. All right. Throughout history, there have been people who have tended to protect, to tended to and protected our life-giving wells. In our in the lands of what today is the United Kingdom and Europe, many of these sacred wells are named after goddesses, including Bridget, Danu, uh, Solus, and Anu before they were absorbed by Christianity. If you sit at these wells, you may feel the wisdom of the ancient people echoing on those waters, which remain protected. The Euclidean is an old poem. Euclidean. Oh, I can't pronounce it. E-L-U-C-I-D-A-T. I O N. Eludation. The Eludation is an old poem that 
tells of guardians who fulfilled the holy role of the land. A greedy king and men violated these well maidens and the guardians of the earth, of the kingdom's wells and took more than they needed. They ignored the sacred contract of respecting the well maidens in the waters of the sacred well. And as a result, the kingdom became desolate and barren. The well maidens are keepers of harmony and balance. They respect each the sacred waters, and as a result, they give plenty. They deliver a message about importance of these qualities in a way that we treat ourselves, others, and the nature that sustains and supports us. They remind us to slow down and offer kindness to respect and respect to others, the earth and ourselves each and every day. Soul inquiry, how can you offer kindness and respect to yourself, the earth and others today? So, how can we show respect to the earth, to ourselves, to others? How can we, even with um, the uh, the card today with the healing uh, spirits um, was um, you know change and how we embrace it and so how can those two go together? How can change and giving thanks and respect to our ancestors for this earth that we are here to protect and guard against um, and, and make sure that it's there for our children and our children's children. So, all right. I hope you all have a wonderful day today. Thanks.